Hello, third year, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine well. Today is Monday, the 5th of October. We are going to check first pages from the activity book 96, 97, 98 and 99. And then I'm going to explain the revision of unit 12, uh, the grammar part and the writing part. Yes, okay. And from uh, next class, yes, uh, we are going to have Zoom classes, ¿ok? ¿Is it clear? Ya se ha mandado en el grupo de padres el horario y los días que, van a, que vamos a tener, eh, los días y el horario que vamos a tener clases por Zoom, ¿está? No faltar, importante eh, estudiar todas las cosas que yo les diga que repasen, ¿sí? Eh, bueno, ya vamos a hablar sobre ese tema, pero ya desde la clase que viene nos vemos en Zoom clases. Cada uno chequea el horario que se les mandó en el grupo de padres, ¿sí? Okay, well, shall we check pages 96, 97, 98, and 99? Yes, okay? Good. So, exercise 1 and 2 from page 96, okay? 1, tool. 2, discovery. 3, habitat. 4, survive. 5, conservation. And 6, lecture. 2, 1C. 2E. 3D. 4A and 5B. Is it clear? So let's go to 97. 97, exercise 2. Yes. 1E, 2A, 3G, 4C, 5B, 6A, 7F and 8D. Yes. 98. 98. Wait a minute. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 98. Wait, 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 please. Let's go. Good. There we are. Wait a minute because I'm correcting something here. Okay. One A D two B C G I three E F H two one. Are you there? Okay. Eighteen forty two. South East, South East London. Three, four specialists who want to study and research plants. Four, to educate, educate people to keep many species of different plants alive. 100 attractions including an art gallery. Six, the pagoda which was built in 1762. Seven, the treetop walk way. Eight, to get children interested in trees. And nine, growing rare plants and flowers. Yes, that is a very beautiful place. 99. After, uh, let's go. After a weekend of violent storms, 
The good news is that the country will return to normal. If you live in the north of the country, there will be some heavy rain through the night. But by the morning, this will disappear and you will have a day of bright sunshine. You won't get any rain if you live farther south, but expect some strong winds after midday. Other uh, than that, you will have a beautiful day. Yes. Number two, storm. Number two, rain. Number three, wind. Number four, sun. Number five, park. Number six, attraction. Number seven, climate. Number eight, news. Okay. And number three is your are your own answers. Okay. Number four, possible answers. One, snow, thunder. Two, white screen. Three, anybody. Four, tomato. Not tornado. Yes, potato, tomato. Okay, tornado. If you, uh, if anyone else drove in that direction, they would be mad. Coma, seven, natural, eight. Why don't we go to the cinema? Yes, is it clear? Good. Tornado, tomatoes, potato. Yes, okay. Let's go to the explanation now. Bye bye. Activity book. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Yes, let's go. Okay, so in the writing part, in the writing part, you are going to write an article for the National Geographic magazine with this title, Formosa, the Green Paradise. Yes, okay, a hundred words. And here you have the mass words or structures. They must be underlined or highlighted. Tourists, north, inhabitants, riverside, restaurants, cinemas, pedestrian, flora and fauna, and but start. Atención cuando uso el start porque me estoy refiriendo a cómo voy a usar con la gramática start más infinity, start más ing. Me fijo cómo uso el start. Está referido a la gramática de esta unidad. Everybody, something, anywhere, conditional to. Uh, climate and hair. Yes. Todas esas palabritas están donde? En el class book. Yes. En la unidad 12. Is it clear? Yes. Ok. Well, remember to organize the, uh, the article with, here you have to write the article, introduction, body, and ending. Yes? Okay. And at the end, you say if you would recommend Formosa, the green paradise, yes or no. Okay. And why would you recommend? Introduce the topic. Yes. Okay. Then, 
in the next paragraph you, ha you can talk about the things you can do in Formosa, yes, the places where you can go, yes, the flora and fauna, yes, that's why I put these different activities there, yes, okay, the different mass words that can guide you to write a very nice and interesting article about Formosa, the Green Paradise. And remember, this uh, article is for the National, National Geographic magazine, okay? A uh, hundred words, uh, be careful with conditional, if plus pass plus would infinitive, conditional two. Is it clear? So that is the writing, yes? And then we're going to go to the grammar part, Yes, okay. So in the first part, you have to rewrite the sentences with these words so that the second sentence has a similar meaning. Okay, so you have anyone, everybody, everything, everywhere, nothing, nowhere, someone. Okay, so remember which is for things, yes. Uh, which one is for places, for people. Yes, okay, be careful with the verb, yes, because some of them, you know, last class and the previous class, I explained that some of them have negative meanings, so pay attention with that. Yes, and you have an example there. I think nowhere else is beautiful at this part of the country. I don't think anywhere else is as beautiful, okay? Did you meet any interesting people at the event? Did you meet... Interesting, elijo una de las palabras de arriba, okay? So, uh, next, you are going to choose the correct option, A, B, or C, and I'll read the sentence, analyze the option, and then choose the one that is um, correct. Then you are going to put the words in the correct order to make sentences, put in order, read, Yes, the words first and then put in order. Yes, then you are going to complete the second conditional sentences with the correct form of the verb. So, if all Greenland ice melted, the sea would rise. Remember, if pass would infinity. Yes, okay. Acordate, fijate bien, porque a veces el if, la if sentence está en esta parte, y a veces está en el otro sector. En este caso, esta parte va a ser con would y esta parte va a ser, va a ser esta, this part is going to be with um, pass, ¿ok? Acordate que el if plus pass plus would infinitive, es decir, conditional to, el if clause siempre va pegado al pasado. Este es aquí o aquí. Yes, for example. If I studied, I would pass the exam. Yes? I would pass the exam if I studied. Yes? Is it clear? Okay? It doesn't matter if it is in the first part or in the second part. Yes? But the if clause siempre pegadita al pass. Yes? Okay? Well, so, um, and that is all. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? Right. So, concentrate. Uh, organize your ideas, yes, first, and then complete everything, um, concentration, start with the composition first, and well, see you next class in the Zoom classes, okay? Bye-bye.